Hi, this is Kirk with Forex Trading Secrets. In this video, we want to talk a little bit about how to make trading easier and more fun. And logically, you would think that if the market is going up, of course, you say, hey, I'm going to buy when it's going up, and when it's going down, I'm going to sell, and that's, that'll be all great. But the question is, how do you know when it's going to start going up and when it's going to start going down? How do you know how fast it's going to go up, how far it's going to go up? Those are all things you have to, to learn as part of a trader. So let's think of it as throwing something in the air in relation to a uh, chart. You throw something in the air, did you throw it more straight up? And how far is it going to go? How fast did you, you throw it? How much effort did you put into it? Uh, did you just do a little lob? Is it going to go sideways? So you have to think about that as well. So when you uh, go to place, place a trade, you need to, to look at things. Is how, how far is it going? Uh, which direction is it going? How fast is it going? Now, there are some strategies out there that uh, people have that require you to look at the, the chart for uh, almost all day long. And uh, that's going to wear out after a while. You're going to get tired of doing that. And then there are other people out there promoting that you don't have to look at the charts uh, 10 minutes a day. Well, the big challenge is which 10 minutes a day do you look at them? You might find that you're spending looking at them more than you, you would normally because you try, don't know which 10 minutes to, to look at a chart. And so you're really ignoring the true essence of trading. This is all done trying to take less time in an effort to make it easier to trade. Trying to find that strategy that's going to work for you. We've talked about trading the direction, how far and how fast the uh, market uh, might be moving and how much time you might be required to trade. It does take a little bit of time. Now, one thing is the larger the time frame you trade, the less time you're going to be uh, spending in front of the, the computer. The larger time frames also make it such that you'll be able to trade more currencies because you're not having to, to uh, check on everything quite so often. Trading more currencies this allows you to take even more trades with a greater earning potential. Now, we found that you, uh, if you trade more and use good entry signals, then you'll actually help to develop more patience because you have some trades on. So when you uh, take uh, many trades, you'll generally find that you'll be taking better entry signals and that uh, you'll have more positive trades. When you use proper tools like the alerts and a trading group that, of course, using the same system you are, then this uh, brings things to your attention. And you'll find that it's a lot much easier to trade and it takes less time. Sometimes you're bringing the information to others' attention and sometimes they're bringing it to your attention. If you use the indicators that give you a heads up as to when the market is going to actually be changing directions. If you look at the indicators that's here, if you know how to read them, they're telling you that the, when the market's going to slow down. You look at different time frames and you can see that the market is going to keep on going or it's going to be slowing down. And so this would require you to spend even less time looking at your computer because if the market scene is going, even the little retracements don't bother you. You don't worry about it. You just uh, put your stops and manage it and, and you'll uh, really make more pips uh, doing that. So the basic thing is to be able to have some indicators and uh, some tools that will make your trading easier and more fun, like alerts to bring things to your attention like trading people you trade with that are using the same thing, system you are, you're on the same level. Not you trying to train someone or uh, someone's trying to train you, but you're on the same level. You're both, you're, the group is involved in trading, not learning how to trade. And then you'll be able to spend more time managing your trades and less time trying to find them. And then the time you do spend is, is fun and it'll be less time by knowing how to, to determine what the market's going to do. So take a look at uh, the things at Forex Strategy Secrets. Come and join us in our trading room. See if you can get involved in our inner circle trading group. This is where experienced traders are trading, not just trying to learn how to trade. Anyway, have fun. We'll talk to you later.